Hi, welcome to this video. So, um, today we'll be going over is arithmetic operators and arrays in PHP. So, you're probably all aware of the plus, the minus, um, well, for definite, and multiply, obviously. But since in PHP you can't just say x for multiply, you use the asterisk. Uh, the divide, there's no divide on a keyboard, so it's a slash, a forward slash. And modulus is um this percent so let's get started so uh, i'm going to create a variable called num1 and it's going to equal 40 num2 is going to equal 20 and i'm going to create another variable called answer which is going to equal num1 plus num num1 plus num2 so if I echo answer, I should get 60. And if I divide it, I should get 2. So we can uh, multiply as well, which will give us 800. Uh, and there's that modulus, so let's see what we get. 0, because there's no remainders. Is because 40 divided by 20 is an even number. It leaves an even number. If I have to say 40 divided by 21, we get a remainder of 19. Okay, so, whoops. So, uh, there's also minus. And, well, that's all of it. I mean, my arithmetic operators are pretty simple. So now on to the next part of this um, video. So arrays. So arrays are basically just ways of storing uh, sort of a list. A lot of it's just a, basically a list. So if I was to create an array, I would put it in a variable and I would just do it like any other function. So array and then two. Uh, parentheses and a semicolon so in a function you give it parameters which is what we're going to do with this array so I'll give it three parameters and as you can see well three values each value is separated with a comma so say I was going to give the first one Francis and I could say the next one's Connor and for a number I could just say 80 so if I was to echo array you'll see I will actually just get the word array we won't be given the values well the data that's contained within the array but if I was to use a special function called print underscore r now you'll see we get array and we have the three values I'll just change this to another word. So I'll say John. So now, um, as you can see, uh, we can we can use this data basically. We can manipulate. So uh, we can now that it's in an array, we can uh, use things like uh, we could echo array and we can select the zero uh, which is the first piece of data because in PHP it doesn't start at one it starts at zero the same as a lot of other programming languages so if I was to click reload, reload this page we get Francis and what we can also do is we can change this so um, we could say Francis, and then we can say equals on the greater than sign, uh, and then we could say 14, I don't know. So now if we echo zero, we won't be given Francis anymore, we'll be given Connor. But now if I echo, whoops, if I echo, if I choose the uh, ref Francis, we will get 14. And same as if I 
choose 14. Actually, no, that won't work. Yeah, we don't have 14 meter. Yeah. Um, right. Oops. So, arrays are just basically ways of storing data. So, what we can do is we can. Well, uh, if you saw my other tutorials for the uh, social networks, as you'll see how we can use arrays. We can split arrays to get the data out of them. So we could split this array into several strings. So we could split, uh, say we get rid of this. So, so we had three names in our array. We could split this into a string and we could say, we could split it like this. So we can use we can turn one value into basically more than one. So that's basically it for arrays. I mean it's kind of simple. I mean that's just a basic thing. I didn't explain it very in depth, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I probably will because I will eventually be doing an advanced series, so I'll explain everything I've done in more depth, basically. So, but whatever, this is all you need to know for this minute. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.